Hello, this is the 3,000 subscriber Q and A. We hit 3,000 subs like four, three days ago, maybe. Let me let me be precise with this. Let me check when it specifically was. Okay, so it was four or five days ago, and we are already almost at. Let me see, 3,200, which is crazy because it's just been like four days, and we're almost at 3,200 now. Like, chill. Damn! Let me catch up! Y'all are actually crazy. Y'all are insane. That's bonkers in my opinion. I, I, I literally can't say thank you enough because the word thank you can express how grateful I actually am. I'm gonna express my gratitude through my actions, through making my videos better every single time. You know what I mean? By making those minute details. You know, by going the extra mile, I'm gonna show you guys how grateful I am. I feel like you could tell. I feel like with YouTubers, content creators in general, you could tell who goes the extra mile and who doesn't. You know what I mean? So I want you guys to know that I am so grateful for everything and I'm going to the extra mile every single time. Of course. Anyway, let's get into the Q&A. Ooh. I'm on the, I got the Triceratops position. All right, I'm tweaking. Ed asks, why do you look like Lucio? I'm gonna put a side to side. I'm gonna put Lucio right here. I'm gonna put myself here. I do not look like Lucio. <laughs> just both happen to be Latino. I don't know what to tell you, bro. Honestly, it's kind of racist that you're saying that. But you're canceled. You're canceled. Left does stuff asks, how tall are you? How tall do I look? This is me against a door. I'm not tippy toe either. Now I'm tippy toe. I am six foot. Exactly. Body has a lot of sixes in it. It's really weird. My height is is perfectly six foot. My meat is perfect. Booga asks, what that hair do? Um, it, it curls. This is actually my hair without any kind of product in it. Without any gel, without even washing it. That's the one thing. If y'all have any hair questions, bro, I'm gonna say one thing. Do not wash your hair. Oh! Especially if you have curls because the thing is with curly hair is it's very very dry So when you wash it, it's gonna take the oil and all the moisture out and it's gonna become like it's not gonna curl It's just become extremely frizzy beep boop asks How is your day dude and opinions on the overwatch 2 meta so far? So my day is going phenomenal. I got a story. For, I actually got a story for y'all Okay, so if y'all don't know five or maybe six videos ago I stated that I got pulled over and the reason I got pulled over is because apparently I didn't yield for a pedestrian. Okay, that's basically the story. And it's my first offense, but they gave me a court date. Okay, yeah, it's I think it's stupid to give somebody a, an actual full court date for their first offense driving. But I mean, it is what it is. Uh, it's whatever, bro. I go in and they go, oh, we didn't, uh, we didn't receive your ticket on file. That's what they told me. Can you believe this? Not only are they going to give me a court date, but they're going to make me get up 7.30 and then waste my time. But uh, second question, uh, opinions on Overwatch 2 meta so far? Overwatch 2 meta so far, I, I actually enjoy it. It's like dive, but it's not like Overwatch 1 dive. And I think it has more depth to it. So I enjoy it. I mean, the main reason I enjoy it is because Lucio's meta. If I'm being fully honest, like I'm not like, Geography guy YT asks, which people are the most annoying in Overwatch 2? Please remember me when you get one mil. Thank you for that. I, I really appreciate those comments, by the way. Can, can this thing stop flopping around? I would say the most annoying in Overwatch 2 are... I would say probably Moira. Just because she's just really hard to kill. And if she's on your team, she's just never healing anybody. Like, she's always just, she's always just in the back line doing, like, 0.5 damage to one target. Just wasting everybody's time. Ooh, this is a... F Great question. GLS Undercover asks, is it worth the time and effort to post on YouTube? I'm thinking about posting weekly content, but I don't know if it's worth it. It's worth the time and effort if it's something you're passionate about and if it's something that you see yourself doing in the next couple years. So me, I see I see myself doing this for uh, until I die. You know what I mean? I don't want to stop ever. So for me, it's worth the time and effort to post daily content and put my most into every single video. The benefit that I'm gonna get from that is exactly what I want. I want to be able to make a living off making YouTube videos, so I put the time and effort into doing it. So it's 100% worth it for me. But if you are not that passionate about it, and if it's just like something you wanna do as a hobby, then I would not say it's worth it. 
unless you really do enjoy it if it's not something that you truly enjoy and if you ever feel like it's you know a task or like a chore then i wouldn't say it's worth it. what basically what i'm saying is it is worth the time and effort if it's something that you truly want to do morgan vfx also i see you in my comments i see you in my comments a lot you know what i'm saying if you comment on my videos a lot i'm gonna notice you like i'm just like okay now it sounds like i'm trying to get comments i'm not trying to get comments i'm just making a statement feels like i was just doing the 2k q a anyway in comp do you take into account support synergies often or do you just play lucio and only switch when super i do take into account the support synergies i have to as a player but since i'm a lucio main i i don't try to i don't switch because i would be doing my team worse if i were to actually swap to a to a hero that i'm not that good at so instead what i do as a lucio main is i switch my play style to better fit um what the team needs so like if we if we're running Johanzo Ana and I'm playing Lucio I'm probably gonna need to peel for my snipers and my Ana more than play super aggressively whereas if we have like a reaper a uh, soldier then I could just you know speed my reaper in and play super aggressively so it depends I do take it into account like if I if I really really need to swap then I will Hugo Tranguis asks what is your favorite food I don't want to be that guy, but you spelled favorite wrong. My favorite food is probably this pizza that I get. It's a place called Ralph's. And they, it's basically normal thin pizza, but they burn the cheese a little bit and they burn the crust a little bit. And it just, it tastes so, it just, it tastes so good. It literally tastes better than Lizzo's feet. Hugo Tranguis asks again, do I have a name for knuckles in the background? Again, not to be that guy, but you spelled knuckles wrong. I'm probably being an asshole and English isn't your first language. Damn, that, that would make me seem like a dick. Wow, that would make me seem like a dick. Um, Knuckles does not have a name. He's just Knuckles. Funny story about him, actually. Grab this motherfucker. Get here! I paid $20 for this, but it's actually $40. Let me tell you why. We were at a beach, and you know how the beach has the boardwalk, right? with all the games that you could play to win prizes. And so my friend Alex was like, dude, that Knuckles backpack is heat. And I'm like, word, it is. And then he's like, I'm gonna try to win it. And I'm like, bet. And it was the darts game. The guy was grimy as shit. Each game is I think like $10. My friend ended up having to pay $40 to get this thing. He didn't have $40, he only had 20. But he really wanted it. So me, obviously being a W friend, I'm like, bro, listen, I'll just, I'll give you $20. You play the rest and you'll get it. And he was like, bet. So I gave him the $20. But then he was so pissed off that it was $40 and that I guess he kind of felt bad that I gave him 20 that he was like, you know what, Michael, literally just keep it because I don't even want it anymore. And I'm like, dude, I just, I gave you $20 for no reason. I gave you $20 for a reason because I want you to have it. And he was like, no, dude, it's literally going to piss me off. And I'm like, all right, I guess I'll take it. Luffy VR asks, do you like men? Uh, it depends. It depends. It depends. Are we talking about in a... actual way or are we talking about in a yeah like men ringals 2 asks windex or car oil for lube asking for a friend okay so um i have a windex here let me just the thing is windex this this doesn't have any slip to it you know what i mean i feel like this would burn car oil on the other hand is an actual oil that definitely 100 has slip to it so i would yeah i would 100 say car oil although you might get like salmonella wildcat asks you like banana krishy krish asks you did not just with <laughs> Anyway, the question is, do I speak any other languages? Lo siento, mami. Que lo que? Que lo que, baby? Si, 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 eh, si, eh, español. Español, mami. Que lo que, un, un mira? Que lo que, lo que, un mira del hand sanitizer. Un my botol. Do you see what I mean? Uh, Sparkle Photos asks, Do you have any golden guns in Overwatch? If you do, what hero such character do you have it in? And then Jonathan Joestar replies, I know you're not talking to me, but I have Genjis. <laughs> I actually just finished um the first part of JoJo's like two hours ago. Well, if we're talking about my console account, 
for my PC account? For my PC account, I don't have any Golden Guns, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I have one for Lucio or something, or like Cassidy. For my console account, which is what I put like most of my hours in, I have one for every tank and every support, and Soldier, Cassidy, and Genji. Kari asks, what would you do if time froze for a day? Well, if time froze for a day, to be honest with you, I would probably just do what I normally do. I don't think I would do anything crazy. Like, you would just walk around and people and things would just be frozen. I feel like that's just boring, Loki. Okay. I'd probably just do what I normally do, just record a video and then talk about how the time is frozen. Spoon fried beans. I don't even know how that works. Um, are you a supporter of the LGBTQ plus? No. Next question. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm playing. I'm kidding. I already know that's gonna get taken out of context. Yes, I am, 100%. My, there are people in my family as part of that community. My brother, for example, my aunt, for an example. Yes, I support them, 100%. Y'all have gone through some crazy shit in history. Y'all deserve, you know. The LG LGBT community was literally burned alive by Hitler just for being themselves, bro. Of course I'm gonna support them. Y'all have been through some crazy stuff. Anybody who doesn't is kind of just weird. Fowey asks, what is the name of my turtle and what kind is it? So I actually have three turtles. The one you guys always see is Crush, though. That's the biggest one. He's the most social. And then there's there's Squirt. And then there's Franklin slash Playboy Cardi. Diamondback Terrapins. Aiden Hassett McQueen asks, is peanut butter a sauce? Why do you have to ask the most, like, philosophical, thought-provoking questions? God. You know what? I don't know. This this question is that question's too hard for me. Tygill asks, what do you recommend for someone new to comp? I just played Silver Shows Blonde and I want to rank up. Um, I recommend playing less and learning more. That's what I did. This game is not about getting better by playing. It's about learning how the game works. So in order to do that, I would say watch YouTube videos that explain the structure of the game. And then when, you, when you're actually in game, apply that and play intelligently. Don't play stupidly and fast paced play intelligently in fast place that's the best way to rank up in any in any video game possible if you're playing a mechanically skilled character like anna or lucio or genji or something then yeah you need to put more time in pretty sure it's toast asks have you ever fought the urge to kiss your homies when you see them or is it just me no i do this constantly and i question my sexuality because of it. npc to hope spider asks do i like chicken nuggets no i actually do not because you're talking about normal chicken nuggets. Normal chicken nuggets are made with meat, something I don't eat. I'm 100% vegetarian. I used to be vegan, but then I, I stopped because cheese, honestly, cheese just tasted a little bit too good. So I don't like chicken nuggets, but I will say, as somebody who has eaten normal chicken nuggets, and somebody who has eaten vegan chicken nuggets, I will tell you, vegan chicken nuggets are 10 times better. Not only for your health and for the environment, but they taste better. I'm not making this up. My homie Jay Bando, aka Jeremy, asks, out of all the heroes in Overwatch, Start five, bench three, and cut the rest. What is my team looking like? Oh, this is a fact. So, I'm gonna need a point guard, right? My point guard is 100% going to be Lucio. He's fast, he's short, he's a team player. Everybody in his aura gets speed or heal. That's huge. So we need, we need a playmaker like Lucio as our point guard, okay? Now, for our two, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna have to say Widowmaker. A sniper i don't care if she doesn't know how to dribble or anything else she's a sniper bro i can see her pulling up from half court on some normal stuff drilling half court shots like it's nothing boom i'm having widow as my two as my three honestly i want a defensive beast and i want something somebody very athletic so you know who i want i want sojourn i want sojourn as my three i feel like sojourn lockdown defense super athletic could dunk she could drive to the paint everything as my four listen i want rebounds okay all of my guards, my guards are pretty short. Now I want some big bodies, some big juicy men. So that's why I'm getting Roadhog as my four. He is a lockdown paint beast. Nobody's doing any layups on Hog. You going, you going for a drive? Hooked. You try to, you try to, you're not driving on Hog. He's getting every board and you're not dunking. You're not doing any kind of layups. Now as my five, as my five, you know who I'm getting as my five? You know who I'm getting as my five? Doomfist. Ow, you're like, damn, that's kind of weird. You should probably switch Hog and Doomfist. And you know what? I will. Hog is going to be my five. Doomfist is going to be my four. Now, Doomfist is an athletic giant. Now, I'm not saying that because he's black. But, I mean, he is. But, like, I'm not... It's racist. Doomfist is going to come from the bleachers and do a dunk. Okay? He's an athletic beast. For my bench, I'm going to have... For my bench, I'm gonna have Junker Queen as the backup five. 
she just has that fierceness in her. I feel like she could go on the court, do some damage, maybe get a couple fouls for the team, you know, and then get back out. Junk Queen, boom. I'm also gonna have also gonna have Tracer as my backup point guard. She could do she she could blink around the defense and go for a nice little lay or something. And then I'm gonna have Baptiste. Baptiste as another backup guard. He has hops. Jared Rudolph asks, how did you get into YouTube slash Twitch or content creation in general? I always wanted to do something with video games just because I love gaming so much. And I kind of thought that my personality was, is pretty good for content creation. Like I think I have a good personality for it. And just in general, I feel like it's something that I would enjoy doing. So I just did it. Hugo Chen asks, do I play with subs? I used to play with subs back when I, had like 500 subs or something like that but no i don't not because i wouldn't want to but because if i start playing with subs and i would have to play with everybody and that would become too stressful so for that reason i do not play with subs canute's maggot asks says jelly what is your political opinion on plants versus zombies it's the thing is plants versus zombies is that game is so much fun and it's so relaxing but it gets really boring and the levels get way too difficult. TTK asks, when will you post more of Jelly's Theater? Um, I don't know. I actually don't post a lot of Jelly's Theaters because normally they don't do as well as my normal gameplay videos. But I post them every once in a while, like once or twice a month or something like that. Maybe I'll do them more if you guys really, really enjoy them. Slightly asks, is cereal soup and is hot dog a sandwich? Okay, this is gonna piss off some people. Yes, cereal is soup. Yes, a hot dog is a sandwich. Okay, let me tell you why. Sandwich includes bread, substance, bread. A hot dog is bread, substance, bread, except it is horizontal. Whereas a sandwich is vertical. However, they are both still sandwiches. Yes, cereal is also a soup. Soup is the same exact concept. It is liquid and then substance. What is cereal? Liquid and then substance. Stop talking to me. Mizu asks, hey Joe, if you could change one thing um, and make a final Overwatch 2, what would it be? And this motherfucker said the servers. <laughs> no, it would be Q times. Q times are ridiculous. You should not have to wait 10 minutes to find the game. Anyway, that is going to end this video's Q&A. Holy cow, this is a long one. This one was 50 minutes long. Eesh, guys had a hell of questions. I like it though. I actually don't know if every single question will be answered because this, if, if I answer every single question and put it in the video, it might be super, super long. That's gonna be it for this video. Do hope you guys enjoyed this one. Once again, thank you guys so much for 3,000 subscribers. It means so much to me. I appreciate every single one of you. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Peace out.